Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today. If you don't know me, my name is Jackie. I am a graphic designer who specializes in helping small business owners create their own incredible brand and graphics. And today is a good one. Do you know why? Because it's all about YouTube. So if you are in the YouTube sphere or you're thinking of starting a channel and you need to create your YouTube banner, I want to help you with that. YouTube banners are really annoying because they're actually, they appear really long and skinny, but they're not actually long and skinny in reality. So if you see my YouTube cover banner thing here, I'm still learning the lingo. If you, do, if you know me, I'm quite new to YouTube. If you look at this YouTube banner here, it's actually quite long and skinny, but if you actually see what I created it to be, it's this big. Now, this is this big because when it appears on like a TV or someone's viewing your channel as a whole, it, it needs that full image. But in essence, most of the time, people are only really ever seeing this small little segment. And so it's really important that we know where things are going to get cut off so we can create a design that looks good both on the whole and looks good at the main view that people are sharing it and, and viewing it in. So I've got a template for you that I'm going to share with you in the description so you can use that to follow along. But in essence, if you see here on this design, you'll notice that I've got my rulers showing. So if you haven't seen, if you can't see these rulers in your own design, make sure you go to file, view settings and show rulers and guides, or you can press shift R on your keyboard. This will bring up these little rules at the top and bottom. And you'll see that these little purple lines also come up on your design. These purple lines show me two things. Firstly, these horizontal ones are showing me where your image and your cover is going to get cropped on YouTube. So it's showing this crop here, but you've also seen these vertical lines and these vertical lines are showing you where it's going to get cropped on mobile because why make it easy for people? No, it's going to be even harder. Your, your cropping is going to be even weirder on mobile. So there's so many things to consider as we're doing this. Ideally, mine would be a little bit different in terms of you wouldn't just see my boot on the mobile version, but I'm leaving it for now because not everything's perfect in my life. But if you want to remember that for yourself, then it could be useful for you. So when you're thinking about your YouTube, so you can just have a new page here and you can just put images in here. You can either choose to put an image of yourself. If you're a more personal channel, you could put like a tagline about all the kind of content that you share. I'm just going to show you a couple of people that I follow right now. You can see Flying the Nest here. They just have a collage of images. I'm going to show you how you can do that one. You've also got ones like this, like Sarah's, which just have her logo as well as a bit of an info here on what she kind of shares, fitness, health, and wellness. Um, and you've, you, like, you can kind of just go through and just have a bit of a look at the people you follow and see what kind of content they share. Some people just do a plain old logo. Some people do something that's slightly more interesting here. Um, some people do the whole like nice photo with their logo on top. So whatever you're kind of wanting to do will be amazing. So it's more about deciding that and committing to it. And if you have a brand for your business or for your YouTube channel to really push hard into that, you'll see that when you go back to mine, for example, my YouTube banner wildly matches the rest of my templates and my cover photos here for the thumbnails. So just making sure that you're thinking through how can I keep this looking consistent, that it just makes sense when someone sees this, sees this, it's all part of the same world. And if you've got other channels, Instagram, websites, anything else, then everything is looking the same and looking consistent. And so once you've got this open, all you want to do is add in like whether you're adding in your text, adding in your logo, just making sure that you're keeping the design really fitting inside here, but that it doesn't look weird just cut off everywhere else. Like I haven't just cut this bubble to being here. I haven't just cut the cloud to being here. I've kind of like let it go out and, and explore the edges a little bit. Ideally, like my stairs kind of ended, which is why I had to end the stairs, but I have put my head a little bit over the top here to try to help that to, to suit a little bit better. But if you've got like a tall picture to put in here that really just captures you in this tiny little bit, go for it for using that. Or even better, if you popped your head here, then it would look even better because it'd be visible in that mobile line. Um, so some more examples for you is this one here I've made as a template too. This will be on your file and you can just replace all of these images with your own photos. And this is like a really great collage look. These photos at the top and bottom will barely be seen apart from on that TV view, but otherwise just making sure that these four photos look really, really great, look really, really branded um, and just really great quality. Maybe popping your channel name or your logo or your tagline or kind of what you share. You'll notice for me, I've got in here graphic design hacks for everyday business owners ready to stand out. I wanted something that kind of captured what I do, what I share and who I'm for. So sharing that kind of thing could be really useful for you. Um, so adding that in, adding in your logo, adding in your name, whatever your channel is about, popping that in that space. Or you, like this one here, you could just pop your logo in. It doesn't need to be 
anything incredible if you don't want it to be. Whatever's least stressful looks great and works on both devices of, of just computer, of TV and of mobile. That's the dream. So I'm just going to make a new one here just for the sake of it so you can follow me through. But you can also just go straight away now and open up that template and start using it if you want to. All right, let's go. Well, first, I'm going to create. This might be the new one that I use one day once I want a little bit of an update. Then I go and find a different photo of myself, maybe one. I can see if I could find one that is that big version that I told you about. Like I could even use um, this one here of me at the umbrella, which kind of goes a little bit bigger. Can I get the whole way? Can't quite get the whole way. I go there. So now this photo is going to be visible the whole way up and down. But if I just zoom in and you just see where this line here and this line here is, it still looks really nice. So I could do it like that. Maybe I'm going to do my classic trick of, I'll show you what, this is one of my favorite hacks. I go, I duplicate the image and I go to background remover. Then I overlay the image back on top. And I'm just gonna crop this down a little bit. And then once that does its magic, what I do is I drag, crop the edge of the photo and drag it in so it's like this. I haven't quite aligned it perfectly, there it is. And it kind of looks like I'm a little bit cut off so I'm bleeding into the, to the actual design but you can also see the photo in the context of that, which I find quite nice. Now ideally I would love to have this right next to the edge but again, if I do that, I'm gonna be cut off, my face is gonna be cut off on mobile, which is not as ideal. So I'm actually gonna see if I can fix that and just leave it rather than, than bring myself right to the edge. So I'm gonna to get to my brand elements. If you follow me for a while, you'll have seen these plenty of times. And I'm gonna use this cloud to be part of my, um, to kind of help the, the image not get cut off so weirdly. So I'm gonna bring this like so, maybe add that there, maybe grab a different cloud and add that there. And now it kind of has this more, um, less harsh look. I might put my umbrella back on top of the clouds like so. Cool. It's looking nice. I'm going to add in my textured background to the background here like so. Maybe make that a bit more transparent. Lovely. Replace background. There we go. Nice and simple. And now I'll add in something. I might add in my name this time because I didn't do that last time. So Jackie Norton. I have trouble here because my, my name is Jackie Norton, but my business I've called White Deer. And so I'm like a mix between a personal brand and not so I'm going to put both of them here, white deer graphic design. And the graphic design bit here kind of tells a little bit about what I'm about too. Um, so I'm going to make this maybe a bit of a lighter font just so it's not fighting for attention so much. Maybe make that a bit smaller. You want to make sure not all of your text is the same size because it starts to just get, people don't know where to kind of look. Um, and I could pop down here maybe, um, Canva branding design and business. And I want to kind of make sure that the most of that text is visible inside mobile, but I might actually repeat it so it's kind of like one long line like so but that the most important part is still visible kind of so like if I go for here business business canva you can kind of still see business branding canva design all on here but you can't see, but like you could there's still there's still stuff going on in the rest of it for people that are viewing it from um from their different devices if that makes sense so I'm going to pop this there bring that across so it goes all the way to the edge there we go. Okay. That's not too bad. But now this text here is fighting with the Jackie Norton text. So I'm just going to make this a nice dark purple. So it's visible, but it's not like fighting with the design. Um, I might even make this, might put me on top of design there, but yeah, that's all right. It's not perfect, but one day when you see this on my Instagram, on my um, YouTube, you'll know that I updated it. Every now and then it's important too to turn off the rulers. I'm just going to press shift R just to kind of see what it looks like without all the rulers on there. So for me, there's a little bit too much space over here. So I need to work out some way to fill that while not putting in important information there, but still putting information that looks interesting. For me, I actually have a heck ton of brand photos. So I'm actually just going to use some of those as a bit of, a bit of fun. I usually use like Polaroid style, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'm just going to pop in different images that are a little bit fun kind of tell a bit of the story of of Jackie um, let's add one with a laptop in do, do, do. maybe this one here bring that up a little bit I might put one more image down the bottom and again you can kind of see I haven't cut off I haven't put this here where my head is kind of awkwardly over the line I've made sure that my head fits nicely inside the design um, and I might put one more let's do this one a little bit silly a little bit playful exactly me. So I'm going to pop that behind the text. 
right, so you begin to see how this kind of comes together um, and how it kind of shapes out to be something that's interesting, but not to like, it, it's still working within all of the devices. So I'm going to end things there after just adding a couple of my brand elements in. Um, and hopefully you can have a bit of a play with this yourself. If you do one, feel free to tag me and say, Jackie, look at my channel. I just used your template. Um, I would love to see what you create um, and what that looks like and how you've kind of put your own spin on this because there's no one right way to do any of these things. I think the main the main tip is just making sure that it looks good inside the main views. So particularly this one here, um, and that it also looks okay in mobile view, but it doesn't, you don't, you're not totally neglecting the other views by like, like just doing a design that's literally like this already. Zoom, zoom, and pretend these are like white. That's just, that's just a little bit boring. You might as well just carry the design through. It's not, not that extra hard work for us to do that. Um, but just makes it look a little bit nicer for people that do have that full view. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Thank you for joining me for this uh, super quick tutorial and make sure you yeah, go to the description, grab the link for this Canva template, have a play yourself and, and upload something that looks really, really great and branded. Um, thank you for joining me. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button so that more people can find it and hit that subscribe button if you want more tutorials and help in business and brand. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week for another one. Bye.